Join me as I dive into Hebrews chapter 7, verses 15 through 28, taking on the challenge of breaking down the comparison between Jesus and Melchizedek. This change has been made very clear since a different priest, who is like Melchizedek, has appeared. Jesus became a priest, not by meeting the physical requirement of belonging to the tribe of Levi, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. And the psalmist pointed this out when he prophesied, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Yes, the old requirement about the priesthood was set aside, because it was weak and useless. For the law never made anything perfect, but now we have confidence in a better hope, through which we draw near to God. This new system was established with a solemn oath. Aaron's descendants became priests without such an oath. But there was an oath regarding Jesus. For God said to him, The Lord has taken an oath and will not break his vow. You are a priest forever. Because of this oath, Jesus is the one who guarantees this better covenant with God. There were many priests under the old system, for death prevented them from remaining in office. But because Jesus lives forever, his priesthood lasts forever. Therefore he is able, once and forever, to save those who come to God through him. He lives forever to intercede with God on their behalf. He is the kind of high priest we need because he is holy and blameless, unstained by sin. He has been set apart from sinners and has been given the highest place of honor in heaven. Unlike those other high priests, he does not need to offer sacrifices every day. They did this for their own sins first and then for the sins of the people. But Jesus did this once for all when he offered himself as the sacrifice for the people's sins. The law appointed high priests who were limited by human weakness. But after the law was given, God appointed his son with an oath and his son has been made the perfect high priest forever. In conclusion, now we can come boldly before King Jesus in full confidence. We will find grace, mercy, and the power of God to help us in our need. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.